Now that the new year started, almost everyone's making resolutions. In fact, 38% of people who make resolutions make it about their weight. 87% of people make it through the first week, 71 through the second week, 64 through a month, and only 46% of people who make resolutions uphold it through six months. Now, unless you wanna be on the next season of The Biggest Loser, I recommend you pick it up a little bit. By 2007, Statistics Canada found that 29% of adolescents were either overweight or were unhealthy. 59% of adults had the same thing. That was in 2007. 2007. Back in the day of our parents, they had to walk uphill to school both ways in the snow, in a wheelchair, while going to high school and in college. Nowadays, parents are lucky if they can get their kid to move their legs while vacuuming. In 1978, only 26% of adults were reported as overweight or obese in Canada. By 2007, it was 59%. Statistics show that if this trend continues, by 2040, 70% of adults will be either overweight or obese. Adults who have unhealthy weights are also at increased risk of heart disease, cancer, strokes, and type 2 diabetes, with the addition of an almost guarantee of 3 to 7 years taken off your lifespan. This means if we keep this pace, Bigger coffins might not be our only problem. Our healthcare could take a blow too, and that's all we've got over America besides Tim Hortons and colorful money. Adults should do a minimum of 30 minutes of moderate physical activity five days a week. However, only 37% of men and 24% of women get enough exercise to benefit from it. Taking a light jog across the road to KFC on Tooney Tuesday, just gonna keep adding to your value pack. And that just won't do. Do yourself a favor and put the effort in. This 30 minutes doesn't all have to be done at once. Your half hour could be made up of three 10 minute bursts of activity spread through the day, if you prefer. It's the total that matters. These short bursts can consist of things such as intense sprinting for 10 straight minutes, or doing 10 full minutes of jumping jacks. But if you look down and can't see your toes, you might want to go a bit over time.